The invention of gunpowder in 9th century China revolutionized warfare, leading to the development of bullets and firearms. Initially, bullets were simple lead balls used in muskets and cannons, but over the centuries, technology evolved dramatically. Today, modern bullets are highly engineered for specific purposes, ranging from penetrating armor to minimizing collateral damage. This evolution from crude lead balls to sophisticated, precision-engineered projectiles reflects centuries of innovation in material science, chemistry, and aerodynamics. So, how are modern bullets made? The journey of a bullet begins with the selection of its core raw materials, primarily lead, copper, and sometimes steel or tungsten, depending on the bullet's intended use. Lead, with its high density and malleability, is often used for the inner core of the bullet, providing the necessary mass and deformability for impact. Copper, known for its durability and resistance to corrosion, is frequently used to encase the lead core in a jacket, enhancing the bullet's ability to penetrate targets while minimizing barrel wear. For armor-piercing rounds, harder materials like steel or tungsten are incorporated into the core to enable the bullet to breach protective barriers. Additionally, propellants, typically made from nitrocellulose or a combination of nitrocellulose and nitroglycerin, are chosen for their ability to rapidly combust, generating the gas pressure needed to propel the bullet forward. The primer, a small but critical component, is made from a mixture of chemicals that ignite the propellant upon being struck by the firing pin. This intricate selection of materials ensures that each bullet type is optimized for its specific function, whether for hunting, military engagement, or law enforcement applications. In the initial processing phase, raw materials are transformed into components ready for bullet assembly. Lead, used for the bullet core, is melted and cast into ingots before being extruded into wires or directly molded into specific shapes suited for various bullet types. This process ensures the lead has the desired density and malleability for effective performance upon impact. Copper, chosen for bullet jackets, is rolled into thin sheets and then cut and formed into cups. These cups are designed to encase the lead core, providing structural integrity and aiding in the bullet's aerodynamic efficiency. The thickness and shape of the copper jackets are carefully controlled to match specific bullet designs, optimizing for penetration and accuracy. For specialized bullets, such as those intended for armor piercing, materials like steel or tungsten are precisely machined into cores. This involves detailed shaping to achieve the exact dimensions necessary for penetrating hard targets. The propellant, crucial for propelling the bullet out of the firearm, is produced by chemically treating and stabilizing nitrocellulose. This process creates a powder that ignites and burns rapidly when sparked by the primer generating the gas pressure needed to launch the bullet. Primers, small but essential for igniting the propellant, are manufactured by mixing sensitive chemical compounds that react explosively to impact. These compounds are then pressed into small cups, ready to be integrated into the bullet casing. Through these meticulous initial processing steps, the fundamental components of a bullet are prepared with precision, ensuring they are ready for the subsequent stages of bullet manufacturing. The main manufacturing phase of bullets is where all the prepared components come together. It starts with the lead core being carefully inserted into the copper jacket. This is a precision task to ensure the bullet's performance for its intended use, such as accuracy or impact upon reaching the target. After the core and jacket are united, the bullet is then shaped to its specific design, whether it's pointed for aerodynamics or hollow point for controlled expansion. Following this, the assembly moves on to include the primer and propellant. Each casing receives a primer at its base, essential for igniting the propellant that will eventually propel the bullet forward. The correct quantity of propellant powder is then measured and added to the casing, a crucial step for achieving the desired velocity and pressure. The bullet, now fully formed, is pressed into the primed and filled casing. This process requires precision to ensure the bullet seats correctly affecting the ammunition's overall length and chambering. The final step in the assembly line involves crimping the casing around the bullet to secure it in place, ensuring it withstands the firing process without any movement within the casing. Quality checks are integral throughout this stage, with each bullet being inspected for consistency in weight, dimensions, and appearance. 
Samples from each batch are test-fired to verify performance against established criteria, such as velocity and accuracy. The culmination of the bullet manufacturing process arrives at the final packaging stage, where bullets are prepared for distribution. This step is as crucial as any in ensuring the product reaches the consumer in perfect condition. Each bullet, having passed rigorous quality checks, is sorted according to type and caliber, then carefully placed into boxes. These boxes are designed not only to protect the bullets during transport, but also to provide easy storage and access for the user. Information such as caliber, type, and quantity is clearly labeled on the packaging, ensuring transparency and ease of identification for consumers. For larger shipments, these individual boxes may be packed into crates or cartons, ready for shipment to retailers, law enforcement agencies, or military units. The packaging process, while the final step in the journey from raw material to finished product, is integral to the overall quality and customer satisfaction, ensuring that each round is delivered safely and ready for use. The United States produces more than 800,000 artillery shells every year, showcasing an immense military-industrial capability and a leap in technological prowess. This production not only highlights a robust defense mechanism, but also marks a significant evolution from the 14th century when gunpowder first revolutionized warfare. Initially, the technology propelled stone balls beyond the reach of bow and arrow, introducing the concept of long-range combat. Over centuries, this has transformed into a sophisticated operation involving precision-guided munitions made possible through advanced manufacturing techniques. Artillery shells, once rudimentary in design, now embody the cutting edge of military hardware requiring intricate engineering and high-tech production processes to meet modern warfare's demands. So, how do they do it? The construction of an artillery shell begins with its metal casing, predominantly made from high-grade steel. This material is sourced from foundries specializing in metals designed to endure the extreme pressures and explosive forces artillery shells are subjected to. Selecting the right raw materials is paramount as the steel must be exceptionally strong, durable, and flexible. The blend typically includes iron ore, carbon, and alloying elements like chromium, nickel, and molybdenum, carefully combined to create an alloy that balances hardness with ductility, ensuring the shell maintains its integrity when fired and upon impact. The raw materials undergo several treatments to improve their physical qualities before being shaped into casings. The steel is first smelted to melt the raw iron ore and refine it by removing impurities. It is then annealed, a process of heating the steel to a specified temperature before slowly cooling it. This step alleviates internal stresses and enhances the steel's workability. After reaching the necessary specifications, the steel is either cast into ingots or formed into preliminary shapes, preparing it for the subsequent stages of manufacturing. Following the preparation of the metal casing, attention turns to the other critical components that comprise an artillery shell. The explosives and, in some cases, sophisticated electronics for guidance and detonation control. The core explosive material, typically a refined chemical compound like TNT or RDX, is carefully synthesized in chemical plants dedicated to producing high-energy materials. These compounds are chosen for their stability, power, and the ability to be safely handled and molded into the shell's interior under controlled conditions. For artillery shells equipped with guidance systems, a variety of high-tech electronic components are incorporated. These may include GPS modules for navigation, electronic fuses to control detonation timing, and sometimes even small propulsion systems for course correction. The manufacturing of these electronic parts requires precision engineering with components often being produced in clean room environments to prevent any contaminants that could interfere with their operation. Once the steel casings and explosive materials are prepared, the initial processing stage focuses on integrating these components to form the basic structure of the artillery shell. The process begins with machining the steel casings to precise dimensions, ensuring each one can precisely accommodate the explosive charge and any integrated electronics. The casing's interior is meticulously bored to create a chamber for the explosives, and threads are expertly cut to allow the fitting of detonators and fuses. Parallel to this, the explosive compounds are shaped into a solid form that matches the interior dimensions of the casing. 
This operation is conducted with the utmost attention to prevent any unintended ignition. Uniformity in the density and composition of the explosives directly influences the shell's reliability and detonation power. For shells that include electronic guidance, this stage also involves embedding electronic components within the shell. This includes the careful installation of circuit boards, sensors, and wiring within specific compartments, ensuring they're firmly secured to endure the launch and flight forces. Electrical connections are carefully soldered, and the functionality of the systems is tested, guaranteeing the shell's performance upon use. The assembly of an artillery shell enters its final stage with the addition of detonating mechanisms, guidance fins, and safety features. This comprehensive process transforms the previously assembled components into a fully functional military ordnance. Detonators are installed at this point, interfacing with the shell's explosive material. Precision is paramount here, as the detonator must be perfectly aligned to ensure the shell explodes at the intended time and place. The type of detonator varies depending on the shell's design, with some activated on impact while others are timed or remotely detonated. Guidance fins and stabilization systems are attached to the exterior of the shell. These are crucial for aerodynamic stability and accuracy, enabling the shell to follow a precise trajectory towards the target. The fins are made from durable materials capable of withstanding high-speed travel through the air and are designed to deploy or adjust mid-flight for guided munitions. Safety mechanisms are also integrated into the shell to prevent accidental detonation. These include safety pins that are removed before firing and electronic locks that engage until the shell is safely away from friendly forces. Such precautions ensure the safe handling and operation of the shell until it is deliberately fired. After the assembly of these components, the shell undergoes a series of rigorous tests. These tests simulate the stresses and conditions the shell will face in real-world scenarios, including temperature extremes, humidity, and physical shocks. Testing ensures that every shell meets strict military specifications for reliability and performance. Once testing confirms the shell's functionality and safety, it is marked with identification numbers and batch codes. This information helps in tracking the shell's production details and facilitates quality control. The shells are then carefully packed into specialized containers designed for safe transport. These containers protect the shells from environmental elements and rough handling during transportation to military storage facilities or directly to the field for immediate use. The final step in the packaging process is the secure transportation of these containers to military storage facilities or directly to the battlefield. Logistics teams carefully plan the transport routes, employing vehicles equipped to handle the weight and sensitivity of the cargo. The ultimate aim is to deliver the artillery shells to their destination in pristine condition, ready to be deployed when called upon. The evolution of warfare and technology has brought about some of the most sophisticated weapons known to mankind, among which the cruise missile stands out. Originating from the World Wars as early as the 1930s, these self-propelled guided weapons have evolved drastically. They are capable of delivering a high-precision strike over long distances, making them an essential asset in modern military operations. Their development has been a significant part of military strategy, transitioning from basic rocket-propelled torpedoes to highly advanced stealthy projectiles that can be launched from land, sea, air, and underwater platforms. The United States dedicates a substantial portion of its defense budget to the development and production of cruise missiles, spending billions annually. This investment not only highlights the missile's importance in modern military strategy, but also indicates the sheer volume produced and maintained, with thousands currently in storage, ready to be deployed at a moment's notice. So how is it made? The inception of a cruise missile begins with a variety of sophisticated materials and components. The primary materials include high-strength alloys, composite materials for the body, and rare earth elements for the electronics and guidance systems. High-strength alloys, often titanium or steel, are used for the missile structure due to their durability and ability to withstand high-speed travel and extreme temperatures. Composite materials, such as carbon fiber or fiberglass, are selected for the missile's body and wings to reduce weight while maintaining structural integrity. Rare earth elements are essential for the missile's guidance and propulsion systems. 
These elements, sourced from specific global locations such as China, Australia, and the United States, are used in the manufacture of precision-guided munitions. They are integral to the electronic components that navigate the missile to its target, including gyroscopes, accelerometers, and other sensors. Additionally, the propulsion system of a cruise missile, which can be either a jet engine or a rocket motor, requires specialized materials. These include high-energy propellants for rocket motors and specific alloys for jet engine turbines that can withstand high temperatures and pressures. At the heart of the cruise missile manufacturing process, the transition from raw materials to sophisticated weaponry involves several carefully coordinated stages. Initially, the high-strength alloys destined for the missile's framework undergo a series of complex metallurgical treatments. These treatments, including forging, rolling, and heat processing, enhance the metal's properties, ensuring it can withstand the rigors of high-speed travel and extreme conditions. Titanium alloys, for example, may be annealed to boost their toughness and durability, making them ideal for the airframe and essential structural elements. Simultaneously, the missile's body, wings, and fins begin to take shape from composite materials known for their exceptional strength-to-weight ratios. This process often involves layering carbon fiber or fiberglass, pre-impregnated with resin, over molds corresponding to the missile parts. Under the intense conditions of an autoclave, high pressure and temperature, the composite material hardens, assuming its final, aerodynamically optimized form. Parallel to the physical structuring, the missile's brain and nervous system, the guidance and control systems, are carefully pieced together. Integrated circuits and sensors, integral to the missile's navigation, are assembled in environments free from any contaminants. Utilizing microelectronics and photonics technology, these components are engineered to exacting standards, ensuring the missile's guidance system operates with pinpoint accuracy. The propulsion system, whether it be a jet engine or a rocket motor, is assembled with equal precision. For jet-powered missiles, this involves putting together the turbine, combustion chamber, and exhaust nozzle from special alloys capable of withstanding tremendous heat. In contrast, rocket motors are constructed by carefully packing solid propellant into the motor casing, attaching the igniter, and integrating mechanisms for thrust vector control. Each component undergoes rigorous testing, including X-ray imaging for structural analysis, environmental simulations to mimic operational stresses, and functional checks of electronic systems. This level of scrutiny ensures that, as components progress to the final assembly stage, each meets the exacting standards required for a missile to perform its mission with unwavering reliability and precision. In the final assembly stage, all key components of the cruise missile come together. The process starts with the airframe assembly, where materials like high-strength alloys and composites form the missile's structure. Next, the propulsion system is installed, carefully connected to ensure fuel lines and control systems are perfectly integrated for flight. The guidance and navigation systems are then fitted into the airframe. These systems, consisting of electronic components critical for target acquisition and course correction, are installed with precision to guarantee accuracy and reliability. The payload, typically comprising a high-grade explosive warhead designed to maximize impact on the target, is securely integrated. This component's integration is handled with precision, ensuring that the missile fulfills its intended mission effectively. After assembly, the missile undergoes exhaustive testing to ensure every system functions as expected under operational conditions. This includes a variety of tests, such as vibration tests to simulate the launch environment, thermal tests to ensure functionality across extreme temperatures, and system checks for the guidance and propulsion systems to validate performance and accuracy. Successful tests confirm the missile's readiness for deployment, marking it as fully operational and capable of executing its mission. Final preparations for deployment involve detailed attention to packaging and preservation. The missile is equipped with batteries for its electronic systems and receives protective coatings on sensitive components. It's then packed into its launch configuration, using custom-designed containers that protect it during transport and facilitate rapid deployment. These containers are engineered to withstand environmental stresses, ensuring the missile arrives at its launch site in optimal condition. This precise process from initial assembly through to final packaging ensures the cruise missile is prepared for operational use, embodying a blend of precision engineering and thorough testing to deliver a reliable and effective weapon system.